anecdotes of knowing before knowing, like a child sensing her father's 1989 death, drew neuroscientist Julia Mossbridge to study precognition, a form of ESP. From age seven, she kept a dream journal, concluding some accurate future memories can't be explained by chance or misremembering. She argues resistance stems from assuming time is strictly linear. Parapsychologist Dean Radin agrees. Physics already hints time behaves oddly, and consciousness may sometimes access information outside ordinary sequence. In the mid-1990s, Radin tested presentiment. EEG wired participants pressed a button to reveal a random positive or negative image. Anticipatory brain activity reliably rose seconds before negative images. Meta-analyses report statistically significant effects. And in 1995, the CIA declassified work its statisticians deemed reliable. Replications now number roughly three dozen. Cross-culturally, seers, shamans, and Tibetan oracles long claimed foresight, sometimes aided by entheogens, functioning as early weather and threat intelligence. One proposed mechanism is quantum entanglement across time. The brain linked with its future state could register a coming event as a felt memory. Skeptics cite bias and methodological artifacts. Proponents reply that convergent statistics merit open inquiry. Mossbridge's takeaway. Many people show modest precognitive ability and broader acceptance could help us study it directly even if its mechanism remains elusive.